take a look at some business stories in Francis. This one's huge. It's massive. Today was historic. SAB Miller, the brewer, which grew into a global giant from its foundations in South Africa over 130 years ago, the oldest listing on the JSC, today being taken over in one of the largest corporate deals in history. Yep, today's shareholders voted in favor of the $100 billion deal, which will see the company taken over by the world's number one brewer, AB Imbev. However, the approval of the deal that sees the largest and second largest brewers so become one company was not universally welcomed. Shareholders left the final SAB Miller meeting after voting on the $100 billion takeover deal around a year after it was first mooted. The merger sees well AB InBev well. gain a major presence well, in the African know. market for the first time, where beer consumption is expected to rise. The Belgian-Brazilian multinational beer maker will also consolidate its position in Latin America. But the vote was not without controversy. Many investors were angered that two of SAB Miller's largest shareholders, Altria and Bevco, were given a preferential partial share deal, with some leading a campaign to oppose the merger. This deal was firstly constructed with SAB's two major shareholders offline before it became public. They've effectively been given a different deal to the rest of the shareholder base. They've been given a partial share offer, which actually represents a significant premium to the cash offer that everybody else is being given. Not only that, but this was designed so that no one else could really take it realistically because there's a lock-up period. So we think it's poor corporate governance and we think it sets a de dangerous precedent in terms of future corporate activity. The deal is expected to see around 5,500 job losses, approximately 3% of the combined workforce. But will consumers notice any difference? Could brands disappear? It's one of the risks in the future, potentially. Um, this is such a large company, and although all the regulations have been passed and it's all been approved by regulators, the fact that this company owns around 27% of the market means they're going to have more leverage than other competitors. So there is always the risk to consumers that they're going to create deals with consumers which is going to reduce uh, choice limit, like limit choices in the long run. Shares in SAB Miller will be delisted on the London and Johannesburg stock exchanges on the 5th of October with the full merger completing a few days later. SAB Miller will cease to exist. AB InBev has said it is keeping its name. Catherine Drew, SABC News, London.